Uh, what a morning. Thank you, Gregory Hayes. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for wearing socks on our collective behalf. Um, our next speakers have a bold claim. They promise they're going to make you more creative in one minute. Nora Herding and Heather Willems are the creators of Image Think, a business based on the power of drawing. And in their words, they say you can learn how to co clarify complex ideas, spark creativity, solve problems, and propel your productivity to the next level, all from picking up a pen. And we'll actually give them five minutes to prove their point. But before we meet these two women, I need to do something much less lofty, which is to lay out the lunch plan, um, presumably in less than a minute. So we're, I, I can actually hear your stomachs grumbling. So we're going to have lunch really soon. It'll be on the ninth floor. Um, it'll be right after this next session. Uh, during the lunch, Nora and Heather, the two women we're about to meet, will be on the 10th floor to reveal their secret sauce to a handful of lucky attendees. Uh, we have 60 seats, so it's first come, first serve. It's on the 10th floor in the sort of right-hand corner of the 10th floor. Um, so if you're interested, head up there. Um, we'll have lunch up there, too. We actually, I want to tell you a little bit more about what we have in store during lunch. We have exhibits that essentially demonstrate what's next, and I want to describe a few of them. Um, to celebrate its first 100 years and the next 100, Boeing has amazing displays on space exploration and passenger travel. You may have noticed it when you came in, but starting on the first floor, you can find the wing of a 777X jet. And if you take a selfie in front of that wing, you will be pictured with the largest solid object ever, 3D printed in a single piece. It's so stunning in size that it was just inducted into the Guinness Book of World Records. So it's totally worth seeing. Uh, on the 10th floor, you can actually experience the inside of the 777X through VR. Um, and it's worth seeing. I, I can guarantee you that the first class cabins are the poshest you will ever encounter. Um, you can experience the simulators that astronauts use in preparing for trips to space. You can actually see if you can successfully dock on the space station. I tried it. Uh, I can tell you it's much harder than parallel parking. Um, NASA would not want me in space, but it's really, really fun. You're actually like sitting at the dashboard as though you're on an astronaut, and, and it's worth giving a try. Anyway, several of our student innovators will also have their uh, uh, big projects for you to see, too. We're going to be back here at 1.30 with an action-packed afternoon. With that, please welcome our one-minute masters, Nora Herding and Heather Willems, to the stage. Um, great. So the Atlantic has asked us to consider what it means to be human in a world where machines are teaching themselves. We think that the answer lies maybe not in uh, Mars or in futuristic cities, but actually right here in the cave of Altamira in northern Spain. Paleolithic man painted on this cave 15,000 years ago. And we feel like it illustrates beautifully two qualities that are distinctly human, being creative and creating technology. Now, we don't know what the original inspiration might have been, although we can imagine that it was partially to communicate and collaborate together. But regardless, early man faced a problem, how to make a lasting mark in this case. So, our, our early ancestors needed creativity to come up with a technological tool that would answer this question. In this case, it's charcoal. Um, there's been a lot that's been said on this stage today about the advances in technology and how it's going to help us transform the way we think about being human, but we're here today to talk about its counterpart, creativity. Maybe because it is so distinctly human, it's a long-studied phenomenon. Because I'm such a fan of the Atlantic magazine, I looked it up, and they've run nine articles with the word creativity in the title in the last 16 months. In fact, the first one was on the creative process they published in 1933. But it makes sense. We are fascinated by creativity, what it is, how to stimulate it, where to map it neurologically. But it's not just um, researchers who are invested in this understanding. Its creativity has actually become a fundamental edge in both business and in leadership. 
IBM flew around the world, 60 countries to interview 1,500 business leaders. 65% of them named creativity as the single most important leadership quality. It might actually be the thing that saves your job from being taken from robots. 45% um, of the workplace activities today could be replaced by machines. And according to McKinsey, that's $2 trillion worth in wages. But don't worry, if you have a creative job, you just might be spared. Uh, the futurist and author Tim Dunlap predicted in The Guardian earlier this year that, yes, jobs will be lost as automation replaces labor, but the creative industries will continue to thrive as the need to navigate with ambiguity, diversity, and empathy is going to continue to be ever more necessary. Mm -hmm. um, so who exactly is going to be spared? Well, dancers. So, Misty Copeland, she doesn't have to worry about a robot stealing her tutu anytime soon. Um, and that's because dancers and choreographers are some of the few occupations that won't be automated, according to the Oxford Martin Report. So, that's good news for Misty, but what about the rest of us? How do we continue to ensure that we remain creative thinkers? Uh, that's a question that we actually ans answer for our clients quite often. Um, people come to ImageThink because we're, we provide a catalyst to creativity. Um, our team is creating real-time visuals that helps our clients to really focus in on the true root of the problem, and it also helps them to tap into their own creative potential. We help them to ideate, collaborate, and communicate um, while also taking action around those ideas. We took a decade of our experiences helping our Fortune 100 clients and packaged it into a book, Draw Your Big Ideas. It contains over 100 exercises to help everyone generate ideas and then move that to actuating them into reality, all with drawing exercises. And that's because we believe everybody can be creative. Mm -hmm. And we believe that creativity is something that you can practice in small ways every day. And what we'd like to do is to show you one right now. Um, so this morning when you came in, you were given a notebook. Does everyone have one? Or a piece of paper? Get it out. This is the interactive portion right before lunch. Yep. So you can grab a pen or something that'll make a mark. Um, it could be on a scrap piece of paper as well. Great. So take that pen and just make a squiggle. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't just make a mark, anything, right on that page. I'll give it a few seconds. OK, stop. It's just a mark. All right, now take that piece of paper or your notebook, whatever you found to make that scribble on, and swap it with the person next to you or, or a neighbor. You're going to make a friend also while you're doing this. OK, good. So you all, have a, you all have a squiggle there. So now take a look at what you have and transform that into something else. And do that right now. So transform that squiggle into something. So as you're doing that, think about our ancestors back in the Altamira cave. Their challenge was to make a lasting mark. So your creative challenge here today is to tran transform this meaningless squiggle into something significant. How are you doing? Have you transformed it yet? It's a lot of quiet concentration. <laughs> Just respond. OK. Once you're finished, you need to give that back to the original author. Trade. Take a look <laughs> at what your squiggle became. I hear some, I hear some laughter out there. Um, I really want to see these, so can you guys hold them up so we can see what you did? All right. right. Yay. Great. This looks like a lot of snakes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, as technology to continues to disrupt what it means for us to work and be, successful leaders will use their creativity to see new possibilities 
and transform problems into something entirely original. So embrace what our ancestors gave us, and now you can use this one minute of drawing to ignite your own creativity. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.